You remember the time that uh, yeah, you police were called that. on me. Yeah. Police called. Yeah. But I mean, Terrible. like, I obviously they couldn't. They called me up. They wanted to arrest me. I couldn't walk into Terrible. the men's room. Oh, my God, we're on the air. <laughs> we'll talk about it, though. Okay. Let's get into it. Um, Valencia Thomas is a doctor, a dermatologist on the line right now. And let me just tell you, uh, where are you from, Valencia? Um, I'm from Houston, Texas. Okay, where the, uh, it's a drier heat um, down there, a little less humidity. What? Is that true? Uh, no, it's a giant swamp. Okay. <laughs> it rains okay. daily, and it evaporates about 20 minutes after the water hits the ground. I'm sorry. I was talking about Phoenix. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and boy, you guys have been hit with some really ter- terrible weather the last few weeks. Yes, we have. Yes. The good news is that it'll fill the reservoirs, so that'll be right. nice. So our trees won't, won't die this year, but, but it's been a mess. Uh, well, listen, uh, I was just uh, in Orlando, and, and it's very funny, too, because I spent my night last night watching Periscope. That was, it's weird. Instead of watching TV, we were watching Periscope, and at the, uh, the Ep- at Epcot Center, it rained so hard, and this is the rain that you guys got in, in Texas, but it had moved its way across into, mm. uh, into Central Florida, and it rained so hard that the walkways around Epcot, the world, what do they call it, the World Showcase? Were uh-huh. had six inches of water on the walkways. Really, it was it shut everything down last night. It was it was crazy. But the one thing, Doc, is that sun is hot. Yes. Yeah, and I you can only think that you know why didn't we think about skin cancer years ago? Is the sun different, or did we just die of skin cancer? I think a little bit of both. Yeah. Um, I think that it has gotten hotter in recent years, but we really didn't have the data to know. So um, we didn't have the same practices that we do even today, that we go on vacation, we get a lot of sun, we get the occasional sunburn, and then we go back to work. And it's that occasional sunburn every once in a while that can really damage the skin. So we've really seen a huge uptick in skin cancer over the last 20 years. Uh, Tell me if, um, and uh, is it based on the the pigment, the, the, the skin, um, is it based on if you're very, very light complexion or if you're dark or if you're black? Does it change? Does the skin cancer part of Because the tanning versus uh, sunburn does change. What, what, uh, what about the cancer effects? So the cancer effects can affect everybody, anyone, no matter what color the skin. Okay. It really comes down to the burns. You know, tanning, there is really no such thing as a healthy tan because a tan is an indication that your body's trying to make more pigment to help block out the mm, sun. Okay. So your body's already been damaged once you have a tan. Okay. But it really Even affects a tan? everyone. Well, yeah. that's why the yeah. spray tan, they say the, the spray-on tans are the way to uh, the way to go. Definitely, because the, you get the cosmetic benefit, yeah. uh, but the spray tans don't give you any kind of benefit from the sun, so you'll still need to use your sunscreen. I have an attorney. Uh, he gives away free money on the, on the radio here for a contest <laughs> that we do. I watched him walk across the street and get a tan. Uh, his skin just—it's incredible. I'm like, wow! How did you do that? He just walked across the street. He's going to just yeah. call in. He also had a beard when he got to the other <laughs> and side. He had a beard. It was incredible. <laughs> he just shaved. I can't believe it. So, but it is. So the idea would be, um, you need to have some sort of a coating on the skin that is going to prevent from these dangerous rays. That is correct. Okay. The, the coating can either reflect the rays or absorb the rays, depending on uh, the type of sunscreen use. Or you can use a physical block. A hat or clothing can also help block the, the sun. Okay. But I think Valencia made an excellent point when she said that those spray tans do not protect you. Because I think they a lot of people right. think yep. that when you spray on the spray tan, you're protected. Yeah. Well, I mean, why don't they invent that? I mean, that would be uh, really Spray nice, right? SPF. Yeah, that something. would be wonderful. What that is would, the, I, I'd be an investor. What is the number? Because my wife got a. Uh, she had was spraying us down uh, before we would go out in Florida this last <laughs> week, and I came home looking as white as I did when I went. Um, SPF eight yeah, seventy. That's good. <laughs> that is good. I, you know, in the day, in the day back during the Victorian era, if you had a tan. You were considered poor. Um, those that uh, that had, had tans were the laborers. They were, and if you uh, uh, you just didn't want to have your skin colored back in the day, right? Yeah, I think that um, they right now the historians attribute Coco Chanel as the first 
woman of means, the wealthy woman who went mm-hmm. to, uh, I think she went to Greece, and she came back with a beautiful deep tan to prove that she had the money to vacation away, and then uh, okay. it just caught on. Right, yeah. all right. So the answer you say, though, is really to, uh, so what is, is 30 okay, SPF 30? Do you have to go into the 50s? What's a, what is what, what will work to prevent skin cancer? So we recommend SPF 30 or greater. Okay. That's, uh, uh, and that will block out about 97% of the UV rays. So as long as it's broad spectrum and it can get the UVA, which will contribute to skin aging, that's the one that actually tans you, or UVB that burns you, right. um, then, uh, then you should be covered 30 or higher. Sunglasses too important? Yes. Sunglasses are important to help prevent cataracts because cataracts Uh, come from that long-term UV exposure. All right. Very interesting. You know, just every time you turn around, there's something. And again, I I think you're right. There's a combination of um, it's the way it always was. We just didn't know about it. And maybe the sun is a little hotter. I don't know. But at the end of the day, um, you really have to think about these things uh, for prevention purposes and especially your kids. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, very interesting. Uh, Valencia Thomas, uh, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Okay. Uh, were you going to ask another question? I'm sorry. I was just going to add to that. I mean, you talked about uh, the Victorian era when what a tan meant. I mean, yeah. it used to be that if you looked like me, you were heavy set. That was a, a sign of wealth. Yeah, you're right? right. And if you were thin, it meant you were poor because you couldn't eat as well. Good point. So, I mean, I'm the king of the castle over here. <laughs> That's what, you're really wealthy. <laughs> I can tell. It's me too. I'm getting wealthier every day. I uh, might have gotten a little wealthier while I sat here this morning. <laughs> I'm sipping on this uh, this drink. This Saranac uh, Mule Kicker, which is like a Moscow mule, and it is their ginger beer. It's a hard ginger beer with a little lime. It's really, really good if you get a chance to try it. And, by the way, it's not going to be in stores for another two or three weeks, but you could go over to the uh, to the brewery and uh, go to the pub and uh, you'll you'll be able to try it out and actually i think pick the it up at the, at the gift shop you can actually buy it right now 823 here's christine with an update good morning christine bellino good morning polls open in indiana for the presidential primary there today president obama honors the 2016 national teacher of the year today and hall half of america's teenagers say they are addicted to this. We'll tell you what it is coming up. Morning fog will burn off, and so will the clouds, and the real the reveal will be afternoon sunshine with a high of 63. Tonight, 43. Tomorrow, rain with a high of 58 degrees. Currently, it is mostly cloudy, a little fog, 43 at WIBX.